Today, let's uh, talk about how to install Ruin Server Rock on the EXXI server. Ruin is my favorite music player, server manager, organizer. So, it's my favorite uh, tools. I use it every day. I have been running the uh, Rock server, the Ruin server. On a dedicated Intel Nuke small PC for several years, it runs perfectly there and zero issues. But I have been thinking uh, install the Rock server on EXXI instead because. Uh, I know uh, the official message from Ruin is okay. You should run it on a, a good hardware. You shouldn't run it on virtual machine, and because uh, the performance concern apparently, right? But my EXSI server has powerful CPU, big memory, and super fast uh, Ethernet network. So uh, instead of uh, running it on a small PC, I wanted to run it on EXXI. So that's why I did some uh, testing, uh, failed multiple times, and finally I got it up and running on my EXXI. So this is the uh, Rock web page. So uh, according to this web page, uh, Rock is uh, Linux based. And officially, it can only run on its Ruin's own hardware and selective Intel Nuke uh, models. So uh, apparently, the operating system is tailored, trimmed to support very limited hardwares and only run on selective uh, hardware models. So that's why I got a so, uh, multiple issues when I switched to EXXI. So uh, first problem is how to boot from the installation media. Second problem, how to use keyboard, right? So both things sound, sound very simple, right? You shouldn't have those type of issues when you install modern uh, in operating system, but Unfortunately, that's the big two biggest problem I got. You can download the official installation file from a Ruin website, and the file is a, a archived file, right? Once you unarchive it, you got a IMG file. It's not ISO, so but I first tried to. Uh, mounted as a ISO. Uh, let's see what's the result. Now let me switch to EXXI. Now let's try to create a virtual machine. Let, it, let me name it Rock Test because it's uh, Linux based. Here I would choose the generic Linux type. I'm not sure whether it's Debian. So here I choose generic Linux and choose your storage. And I'll give it two CPU, uh, four gigabytes of memory, uh, let's say 50 gigabytes of disk. Now, uh, yeah, give it a faster network. And about the uh, ISO, ISO part, uh, as I mentioned, let me first try to use the uh, IMG file. Let's see whether it can boot. And yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, rock test, where is it? Here. Okay, let's put it. See, this is what you uh, get. Normally, this means your ISO file cannot be used to boot the installation for some reason. 
who knows so then let me kill it then I thought okay maybe uh, I can burn the uh, image file to a USB drive right and then I can boot from the USB drive let me try it Be maybe the image file is not an ISO right let me try it so I won't waste your time so you can choose your favorite operating system and free tools to burn the image file to a thumb drive or USB drive I already did it I, and I already inserted to my ESXi server now let me change the virtual machine to add the USB drive I click this button add other device I choose USB device so by default my USB drive is here uh, it's very simple just save it now let me try to boot from the USB drive again the exact same error so it failed again right so something's wrong uh, with the uh, the way to boot it how to resolve it uh, there's a pretty uh, easy way uh, let me show you there's a tool is called plop Kexic. so according to the web page it's a boot manager it can automatically detect and the chain load Linux distribution right as we know the rock uh, is also Linux based so let me try this way I already downloaded and I uh, already uploaded the ISO file to EXXI so let me switch back to EXXI and edit the same uh, virtual machine and here in the ISO file instead of uh, choosing the ROG file let me choose the 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 ISO file I just uploaded for this uh, boot manager tool save then let me boot it again okay so now it's different right you see this tool is booted and then it automatically detected my bootable installation media including the USB so now let me choose USB hit enter and now it is booting the rock installation file great so now we finish the initial step finally we boot the file you see a error here the rock cannot find any disks to to install on right what's the reason because there's a very tricky thing you need to change your uh, uh, hard drive let me show you close it kill it okay now let's edit the virtual machine setting again uh, let's expand the hard disk setting uh, by default uh, yes as I use the SCSI controller and I'm not sure whether it's conflicting with the CD-ROM uh, setting or just because the rock installation simply doesn't support it I don't know what's the root cause but anyway if I change it from SCSI to IDE and here it has to be slave because we already have a CD-ROM on master right but it doesn't matter uh, automatically switch to slave let me save then boot the installation one more time and choose USB okay now we see the correct welcome screen now we can proceed finally we finish the very first step how to boot the installation media correctly uh, in EXXI now let's uh, proceed with the installation here it asks me to choose one or two right very simple let me hit one nothing happened two nothing happened hit enter or any key nothing happened 
strange, right? So that's the second problem. That's in in my opinion, that's the most difficult part、uh, when you install it on EXXI. So basically, the installation program simply doesn't recognize the virtual keyboard、uh, from the virtual machine. So no matter what you hit, it simply doesn't proceed. How do you resolve that? You have to introduce a physical keyboard to your virtual machine. So、uh, I have a dedicated video introduce that.、Uh, please go to my channel and look for the、uh, video about how to pass through USB keyboard in EXXI. So、uh, there are multiple steps there.、Uh, I won't、uh, spend time in this video, so you can look at、uh, look into that video to find out how. So I already、uh, did it. So let me uh, proceed. Uh, kill it. Then edit it again. Remember, we、uh, we already did the add other device one time.、Uh, To add the USB hard、uh, USB drive, right? Let's do it again. This time, let's add the USB keyboard. So because I already did the extra steps,、uh, now EXXI allows me to pass through the, my physical USB keyboard. So it's already here. It's a Dell keyboard.、Uh, let me save it. Okay. Then let me put it again. Choose the USB. Noises. I have to go to my server room to、uh, hit the keyboard. Remember. I have to use the physical keyboard, which is plugged into the EXXI server in my server room, right? Okay, sorry about the noise. Now、uh, I already booted the、uh, rock test virtual machine, and now it's asking for an option one or two.、Uh, give me a second. Let me go to the keyboard. Try to hit one. Okay. You get the idea, right? So now the keyboard is supported.、Uh, you can proceed with the installation. Okay, I won't waste your time to、uh, proceed with the boring installation. You can do it by yourself. But anyway, after very simple uh, installation, uh, you uh, is done. And this is a virtual machine I、uh, did in the past. I already ran it for. Uh, almost a month,、uh, no problems.、Uh, keep in mind,、uh, I have a very huge、uh, Ruin music library, so Ruin can manage it effortlessly. And after I switch to、uh, this EXXI-based virtual machine, I feel no difference whatsoever. So it runs the same fast. The same、uh, smooth, no problem at all. Okay, thanks for watching.